Welcome! It is May 3rd, 2022, which means it's my birthday. It also means it's co-pilot show day, and we are going to have what I think is a very interesting conversation. The highlight of the day is that... We... <laughs> I'm sorry, that came out of nowhere. We are going to have a conversation about multiple page flows. Um, pop in, say hi. I know there's a lot of you here, and you all seem to be the people who don't chat much. Uh, looking at the names, Dwayne, Deanna, Digital's here, Jeff Stark's here, Jim Banks, Julie Miller. Hi, Julie. Mark Davies. Hi, Mark. Uh, Richard Crook is here. Is that really Richard Crook, the Richard Crook that I know? Roderick, Rodney, Ree, Sean, Sherry, Steve from Thailand's here. Diana, thank you. Troy says hi. Diana says hello. Mark says hiya. Yeah. All right, so here's the question of the day. I'm just going to dive right into it. Steve from San Francisco. Welcome, Steve Hogland. Troy said hi. Did I say that? Oh, s sir, sure. Somebody pops in with a name that I don't know how to pronounce. S-H-I-S-H-I-R. Shashir? Welcome, Shashir. First time guest? First time caller? As they like to say in movie land. But, uh, not the Richard Crick I Crook I know. Okay. Because I thought that would be rather bizarre because Richard Crook, I know, is a filmmaker. All right. Anyway. Many of you have heard me preach this. Many of you understand it. And I often find that many people who start using Up Viral don't really quite get this. And so I'm going to cover the idea that Up Viral is a two-page process. And... It's a two-page process, okay? It's a two-page process. There's an opt-in page and there's a share page. A viral calls it the share page. Um, most people in the funnel world call it a thank you page. That's it. Two pages. If you are building a funnel inside of a viral, there's an opt-in page and a share page. On the share page, we are doing the magic, the, the thing where we are inviting people to join and all that kind of stuff. Those people that get referred in go to the opt-in page. Okay, that's it. Two pages. We've talked about it a million times before, and I'm going to talk about it till I'm blue in the face because it's important to totally get that. Raise your hand if you don't understand that. <laughs> I've, I've just said it five times. A viral is a two-page process. That's all there are. Now, uh, this, uh, in, in fact, this co-pilot show was suggested by the support team. Yay, a viral support team. How many of you love the a viral support team? Raise your hand. Claudia says, happy birthday, Mitch. Thank you very much, Claudia. Uh, you should have my crown on. <laughs> uh, Martin says, Hi, Mitch. Tech issues today, but I got it sorted just in time. Good, good, good. Glad to have you here. <sighs> uh, Bob Anderson says, The countdown is on. In 15 minutes, you'll learn how to set up a three to five page funnel on a viral. Now, it said in 15 minutes. That's the email you got 15 minutes before the show. Uh, yes, I am. Sh I am feeling much better. Thank you. Sean says, finally, 21? Yes. <laughs> no, I'm 65. I hit the magic 65. I have Medicare now. Mark and I had a conversation about Medicare last week, so he gets it. But those of you who are overseas, not in the United States... Medicare is like your normal everyday health care, but you only get to have that in the United States when you get to the age of 65. <sighs> anyway, how many pages are there in an up viral funnel? I want all of, all of you, hi Peter, type in the chat. <laughs> how many pages are there? Claudia says two, Richard says two, Michael says two, Shashira says two. Good, you guys got it. Steve Tylin says 15. Bob Anderson, two and only two. Diana, two. 
To what? Two pages, Steve Hogland. Two pages in an up viral funnel. If you build your campaign on up viral, it's two pages. If you build it outside of up viral, it's two pages. But as the support team said, well, there's a lot of people that think it's more than two pages. And they want to have more than two pages. So how possibly, Mitch, could they have more than two pages? How many of you have seen the case study about Gabe Schillinger? He's the guy that's doing the music beats. Have you seen that case study over in the Up Viral website? Under resources, under case studies. Have you seen that? Raise your hand. Martin says, not that one. Bob Anderson says, that was a good case study. Bob, how many pages did Gabe Schillinger have in his funnel? Steve Tylen says, I watched the show. Bob Anderson said, two and only two. <laughs> I'm going to show you Gabe Schillinger's funnel in a graphic representation actually here in just a few minutes. Gabe actually has a seven-page funnel. I think it's seven pages. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pages. Did he use up viral? Yes, he did. But he did it in a very special way. Now, here's the real question. Can we finagle this? to do more than two pages. Obviously, Gabe Schillinger did it. Um, a friend of mine, Brian Austin, has done it. <sighs> Several people have tried to do it, and they've contacted me, and they've said, Mitch, I can't get a multiple-page funnel to work. So we're going to talk about that today. I know, I'm kind of teasing you, leading you on. Is it possible? Yes. Do you want to do it? Maybe, maybe not. But if you do decide to do it, and you got to watch this entire show, because there's one critical thing that I'm going to tell you right off the bat before we dive into absolutely anything. And some of you know one of my favorite words. <laughs> you gotta test it. The people who have tried it didn't manage to make it happen because they didn't test it. Those that have done it, A, understood the process, and B, tested the kajibers out of their process. And you got to understand the funnel flow. All right, so. How many pages? Two. What are the pages? Opt in and share page. All right. Let me go in. I'm going to um, actually go over to Up Viral just so you know what I'm really talking about. Uh, let's see. I don't think I'm logged in because if I click this, it's going to say, hey, you're not logged in. Actually, it is. I am logged in. <laughs> uh, I'm not logged in. Uh, all right. I knew that was going to happen. All right. So I just happened to be in one of my funnels in my personal, my business account. Notice when you go into the design, that's step five of the setup funnel, there are the opt-in page and the share page. There aren't more pages than that inside of Up Viral. I am sharing, right? You guys see my screen. There's only two pages. Now, I'm going to jump over to... Uh, preview and show you the funnel, right? You've seen diagrams like this. I spent the morning redoing many of my diagrams. This is the simple version of the up viral funnel. There's the opt-in page. When somebody joins your campaign, they become a lead, and then you go to the thank you page, right? That's it. 
traffic comes in, you opt in, you go to the thank you page or the sharing pages that Fire likes to call it. Right? Everybody with me? Yes, yes, no, you guys bored to tears yet? Let me know. Two pages. Opt-in page, share page. Thank you for responding, Claudia, Shashir, Martin. I appreciate the feedback. I harp on this because this is the critical part of the process. Now, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to pause my screen because I, I want to make sure I have the right visual. And I've got lots of visuals here. Uh, let's see, I'm going to go to... <sighs> that's not, I don't have the right one open. See, that's the problem. Hold on, please, one tiny second. This is the one I want. Now, here is, again, I've been, I've been fooling a lot with, um, <laughs> boy, there's a new person, S-N-J-E-Z-A-N-A, -E -E Snezhana. Is that anywhere close to right? Welcome to the show. Now, uh, there's a lot of white space down at the bottom because all of my new um, the screens here showing the process, there's a whole bunch of other stuff that could be done, right? Like custom actions and I pronounced it right? Yes! Now I won't remember how I said it. <laughs> um, but there's a whole bunch of other stuff, right? But I want you to focus on this part. Now notice we added the direct we added the referral traffic, right? Because when you land on the sharing page, a file asks you to do the sharing part, right? You share it on Pinterest, Facebook, copy the link, do all those kind of things. And this is the critical part of the process. That link that is on that social share takes everybody back to the opt-in page. And this is the failure spot for everybody that tries to put in a multiple page funnel. They don't recognize that they have to handle this referral process. This is where the failure happens. This is where the testing, if they do it, blows up. Okay. I just got to notice it says participants can now see your screen. I hope you could see it before. If you can't see my screen, let me know, please. This, this is the second critical part of the process. Okay, we could see it all along. Yeah, oh, thank you. <laughs> but the opt-in page and the thank you page, the sharing page, are the two pages in the process. And everybody repeat after me, the sharing function of UpViral takes people to the opt-in page. Now imagine trying to shove another page in the middle of this, or another page at the front of it, and hoping to see this process work. <laughs> Thank you, Claudia. <laughs> Claudia says the sharing function takes people to the opt-in page. Now, here's the third little tiny piece of this process. Up viral hard codes. This is a form, right? On the opt-in page, up viral hard codes. The next page in the process. This is where people get really, really stuck because up viral is going to take people to the thank you page no matter what, even if they try to sneak in another page in the middle of the process, a viral says, uh, uh I'm taking you to the thank you page. Okay, you guys still with me? If you don't understand this part of the process, you can never possibly use a, create a multiple page funnel. Now I've told you that people have done it. Michael says, got it. Thank you, Michael, for responding. Multiple people have tried to sneak a page in the middle of this process. 
and I don't understand that Upviral wants to jump over to the thank you page. So, let's think if we could figure out a way to make this be a multiple page process. Anybody got any ideas? Can't shove a page in the middle between, you can't shove a page between the opt-in and the thank you. Pages after the thank you page. Way to go, Richard. So let's take a quick look at Gabe Schillinger's page. Let's see, <laughs> that's the wrong place. Let's see, come on. Window, I wanna go to Gabe Schillinger's. Richard figured it out. So here's, I gotta move the chat out of the way. In Gabe Schillinger's process, now he did two funnels, right? Of the top line here is his contest funnel. The bottom line is the launch funnel. And by the way, Gabe gave me permission to share this with you. He does teach a course on how to make this happen. And he did say, Mitch, it's okay to show this off. All right. But notice that the lead page, the opt-in page, which he actually uses click funnels, so he's not using up viral, but he uses the up viral widget here on the contest lead page. And then on the sharing page, he has the widget also click funnels. He also, below the widget, posts a small offer, what he calls a small offer. I think that's what he calls it. Which is, hey, if you want, so he's selling music beats, right? Things that rappers and musicians use. They're small segments of music that they can include in their songs. Gabe gives them an offer that says for 47 bucks, you can jump the line. We're going to offer this blah, blah, blah for $47 or 27 or whatever small offer. Click this button. And that takes them over to this third page in the process, this product offer, this one right here. If they decide to do that, they can upgrade, they can buy it, they can do whatever. They go to an upsell page, number one, upsell page, number two. And finally, he's got a confirmation page saying, hey, great, thank you, all that kind of stuff. But when people do the sharing on the widget, again, here's the uh, viral loop. The up viral widget takes people back to the lead page. You have to understand that process. Now, he also has what he calls the launch funnel that he does after the contest is over, and that's documented down here. It's basically the same thing. It just doesn't have the up viral part in it. He has a sales page, an order page, the upsells, blah, blah, blah. So that's how he makes the 200,000, 400,000 that he makes in his contest campaigns because he takes the process, he understands how it works, and he puts it at the beginning of his process. Now, I always have said on this contest page right here, folks, you've only got one purpose on that page. Get people to do the sharing. Now, Gabe's proved to me, <laughs> oh, Mitch, you got things to learn, because he has turned this into a highly profitable process. And he takes people, not only asks them to do the sharing, but he also says, hey, I've got a low price offer. Go here, go here, go here. And he sells a whole bunch of stuff. And he still gets people doing the sharing because they're interested in winning the prize. Usually his prize has been uh, a trip to Los Angeles to work with a famous rapper to create a song for a day. So you get one day of this famous person in the studio to work on your music. It's a big prize, right? So people want to do the sharing. It's all about the offer, right? So the first page, the, the opt-in page, has a simple opt-in, simple offer. It is an up viral widget. And then on the sharing page, you have the up viral widget. And then the rest of the process just is normal click funnels kind of stuff. All right, do you guys get this? Do you make, is this making sense to you? Please let me know. 
Claudia says it seems like two calls to action in one page. Yes, that's the thing that scared the kajibers out of me. And I've always told clients before I met Gabe, don't do that. <laughs> but Gabe has proved to me that this works. It's all about the offer. Thank you, Peter Michael Snizh. See, I knew I wouldn't do it. Snizh. Snizhana. Snizhana. I'm going to try to get that. Uh, the Bob Anderson says, yes, the the bump could be considered a bump offer. The, the, yes, the purchase. Right? Again, I'll say this again. It's all about the offer. In his case, the offer is very tempting. And if you get to certain levels, because he does have rewards and incentives and all that kind of stuff, we, 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 we can offer incentives. I did it again. I started reading the comments and got distracted. <laughs> um... But you can incentivize people. He was actually offering the $40, $47 package at one point where if people did enough referrals and got enough points, then they didn't have to pay the $47. But a whole lot of people said, I want the $47 thing. I don't care about working for it. And they went ahead and purchased it. All right. Steve from Thailand says, could we drop a Thrivecart link in the app viral sharing page? Yes, you can. I have not done that, but I don't know why you couldn't do that. You could, if you're using some other cart tool, I imagine you could take the same plugin and add it. I have been tempted to try that. I haven't actually tried it. Uh, so do we, Keith's question. So do we have an example of what that looks like? If you go look at the case study, let me just go over to... Um, oh, hi. By the way, Jerome's over on the Facebook group. Rui is over on the Facebook group. Welcome and thank you very much for the birthday wishes. Um, so I, what I need to do is, what I need to do is, see, I already forgot where I was going. Up viral. I'm going to bring this over on the screen. You go to up viral and you go to the resources tab. Come on, mouse. See, now I got my window in the wrong spot. Case studies. If you do, I'm going to click this. I'm going to close this. And I'm going to do a search find on Gabe. Not V. B. Gabe. So if you, if you come over here and read this case study, I'm trying to answer Keith's question. Do we have an example of what that looks like? You can come over here and peruse this case study. In the videos, there's an example, and here's the opt-in page. So, I mean, the opt-in pages, he built some massive pages. This is part of the sharing page. Here's what to do next. Start racking up points and prizes for the giveaway. Here's the up viral share widget. Gabe used seven custom actions. Here's step two, go to contest goal and grab the contest pack. Now he's actually doing two campaigns in one and that's a whole different story <laughs> because he had a can he was and in the most recent one he and i had a conversation before he launched this and i said you're crazy but it worked for him so you some of the people 
tried to enter the second giveaway. The second giveaway was not an umpire giveaway, but it was required um, by Mark. Um, this, if you submitted a tape, you could get into the second giveaway. It was completely external. It was not part of Up Viral. Uh, so there's this panel of judges, right? So he jammed a whole bunch of stuff in here. It was crazy the amount of stuff he jammed in here. And I kept raising my hand when I talked to him, and I said, Gabe, this looks like way too much. People are not going to do all these things. And he proved me wrong, which is perfect, right? I can learn. But again, the offers were huge. A trip to California, all expenses paid. Holy cow, who would want that, right? Working with some of these big-name producers, musicians. All right, so uh, that was for Keith of the examples. You can read all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, it's, it's a really great little case study. All right, does that help? Um, you could do a VIP or other incentive offer, Bob Anderson says. Yes, absolutely true. There's all kinds of things that you could do inside of his process or your process. All kinds of things. He had upsells, he had downsells, he had all kinds of stuff. Steve says, do it and report back. Um, that was about the Thrive Card example. It's... It is possible. Uh... <laughs> I have to be careful because I don't I don't want to oversell the difficulty of this multiple page process. Let me rephrase that. I don't want to undersell it. There are many things that are possible, but you I, I'm gonna I've said this a million times. Make sure you understand the two page process first. Make sure you run a campaign or five with the two-page process so that you've got everything tested. Um, Lauren, great question. Is there a case study where celebrities and very expensive trips are not included? Of, of a multi-page process, I'm not aware of any. There are gobs of case studies on this page. If you go to the case studies, they have lots of different styles of campaigns. And you can learn a lot from these case studies. I have not even perused most of them. <laughs> uh, Sastronautics was a great little campaign. The Bunky Life is a huge campaign. Max Rhymes, if you want a small case study, this is a campaign. The Max Rhymes case study was a book series. And I was the consultant on this one. I built this campaign for Max Rhymes, and we ran it multiple times. So, although I didn't get the interview here, uh, this was my campaign. I did all of the build on this campaign. And it was a very simple little campaign, and we ran it multiple times. You see, even here, in the case study, like with Gabe Schillinger, we're talking about $200,000 and sales and this and that. The Max Rhymes team was ecstatic because every campaign got started getting bigger, of course. But the first one we did was like 400 leads. It wasn't massive, but this was using the simple two-page funnel. It's a typical up viral campaign. Um, <sighs> uh, so uh, I, I hesitate. Uh, I'm 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 hesitating. I don't have a slide set up for this, but. 
Uh, let me let me just go back to where I was planning to go. I have I I don't so Lauren I don't have a short small case study with multiple pages cuz most people have run their campaigns quite successfully with just two pages. Oh, that was the one. Da, 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 da. So, with the understanding that you have a two-page process for a viral. Oh, Keith says, it looks like you should test gradually as opposed to leaping right into it. Let me tell you that Gabe Schillinger's case study was year four. It took him four years to get to the spot where he is running this crazy good funnel. He started out simply. He started out with the simple stuff that I want you to do. Do not, please, Lord, do not try to start doing a multiple page campaign on day one. Unless you really, really know marketing and you really, really know how to test these things. Because I, I, I will go back. Let me go back to my other thing. The place where things break for people that are trying to do a multiple page funnel is that they go here and they forget about giving points for referrals. So this part, the green loop up here, if they build a multiple page process, they forget to test whether or not points get accrued for this referral loop. And that's where the failure is. Um, I'm gonna show you this one. And I don't, I managed to get it to not totally fit on the screen. I have, done campaigns where we have taken the opt-in page and we've replaced it with a tool like Typeform. And I'm not going to go into the how of this because it can be complicated, but my point is that this is not an up viral landing page. This is not a click funnels landing page. This is a survey. Some of the survey tools will let you create on the when the when the user gets to the finish survey button you can create a link for them to go to and you can use some of the parameters on the survey itself like name and email the key to this freaking process is that typeform and there are a few others that I'm aware of let you build what's called a one-click sign-up dynamically, and you can use the referral ID that comes in the top part of this process. If you don't use that referral ID that comes in, then you are going to fail and you are not going to give the referral points. And that is, as you've heard me say a million times, that's the magic of UpViral. If you are not, if you're trying to do this referral loop and you don't give people bonus points for bringing in referred traffic, you're blowing the entire up viral process and you will have people that are be really mad at you. Test this, test it, test it. Every time you try to do something, you better freaking test it or I'm going to come after you. If you try to build something really advanced like this and you do not test it and you do not pass in that referral ID, you failed. And you can come pay me a lot of money to come fix it for you. Right? I will fix it for you after the fact for a lot of money. Because I know what the hell I'm doing. You can pay me now or you can pay me later as the old... Who was that? Was, was it Midas? Rattle, rattle, thunder, clatter, boom, boom, boom. Carex. Right? 
Wasn't that one? Anyway. ConvertBox. Yuli asks about ConvertBox. Yes. You can build this one click up viral sign up in ConvertBox, and I have tutorials on how to make that happen. There's not something a viral teaches. Julie Miller says, since you suggest we do not start out, capital letters do not, can you outline the most basic way you suggest we start? Thank you for asking, Julie. Ring the bell for Julie. Start. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out of screen share. Start with a very simple up viral hosted landing page. Don't use click funnels, don't use widgets, don't try to embed this in other places. Just build a simple up viral hosted campaign. When you've seen me do reviews, what's today? The third? I think we're doing a review show next week. I have to look at the schedule. When I've done reviews, I talk about making it simple. Keep it simple. Build a simple campaign. Maybe it's a giveaway, maybe it's a lead magnet, whatever. Two pages, thank you page, I'm sorry, opt-in page, thank you page. That's it. Don't make it really hard. Run three or four of those. Add a little complexity as you go. Add triple prizes, add this, add that. Learn how these things work. Start with the very bare basics. Most of the up-viral uh, templates that they have are simple, basic templates. There aren't a lot of bells and whistles in those, and that's okay. They are great for the beginners. Run a contest. Give away a $50 Amazon gift card if you really want to test something out. I've done that multiple times. I want to test something. I'm not going to keep those leads. I throw those leads away, but I test it, give away a $50 Amazon gift card to see how it works. Find out how the bells and whistles change my results. Simple $50 Amazon gift card for a week. Another one, add a feature. $50 Amazon gift card. Takes me a couple hundred dollars to test some things out. Throw all those leads away because they are not your audience. They're not important to you long term. All right. Great question. Start with the basics. Start simply. Keith's question slightly off topic. Can, can I just confirm that you are recommending custom domains for the pages? Absolutely. I always, always, always use custom domains. Custom domains, There's we've talked about it in earlier shows, custom domains use your branding. Instead of upvir.al, blah, 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 you get uh, win.mitchrocks.com. Whatever your branding is, those URLs now have your name. Okay. Always, always. Now, if you are just starting out, you don't have to do that. It is there available to you. Even on the starter plan, you get one custom domain. He says, so giveaway.domain.com. Yes. Custom domains rock. Many tools, by the way, if you have looked at the pricing of other tools... Many of the other tools will charge $200 a month for a single custom domain. You get one for no additional charge, even in the basic plan. Peter, if you do not have any traffic for it, would you then use an ad campaign? If I'm doing testing, and we talked about this last week, the week before, um, I use it. I use a website called Sweepstakes Advantage because there's a whole bunch of contestant people on there and you can run an, a campaign there for 10 bucks for a month. You probably won't get a month's worth of traffic out of it, but you can get several hundred leads for 10 bucks if you want to test something. 
Are you guys seeing a green flash periodically, or is that only on my side? They just did it. Jerome says yes. <laughs> Bob says it's very pretty. Uh, I've been thinking for my birthday I need to buy a new computer. You guys agree, right? All right. Uh, Peter says, yes, I know, but we do not have this in Denmark. Yes, I understand. But, uh, sweepstakes advantage is USA only. Claudia says, you need a computer for sure. Keith says, yes, do it. I am going to do it. <laughs> Uh, glitch tool. I don't know. I have, I don't know what, I've never seen that green thing happening. But I have, I have been thinking this is underpowered. All right. So <laughs> we are 45 minutes into this show. Um, there are a couple of other examples that I do want to show you, if you're okay with that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. we looked at the shop. That's not what I want to show. Where did it go? Um, I may have to look over in Keynote. I was building all of these in Keynote. Ah, here it is. Uh, Shashir, the, the website that I use, uh, let me just open it. Uh, it's, it's actually, it's, the site is called sweepstakes advantage but the url is sweepsadvantage.com and i i need to be getting uh some kind of an affiliate but uh so let me share my screen so this is again it's usa and canada only so if you're outside the us uh, but even i mean if you're just testing and you are outside the US and you just want to just see the results and you don't care who the leads are, you could certainly uh, run a campaign here, say it's US only, create your campaign in a viral such that it's USA only, and do some tests. Get you, it's gonna cost you to give away a prize, but you don't have to give away a thousand dollar free trip to you anywhere. Kind of you could give away an Amazon. $50 gift card, which is whatever, 25 people will fight for a $25 Amazon gift card. If you're using testing, uh, there, Keith says, may I use a proxy? Uh, I don't think they care where you come from. You just, it has to be a campaign that will be USA only or Canada only. I don't think they care. I don't think I I have not tried it, right? I'm obviously inside of Anyway, you see that they list and they they are simple. There are no graphics on here. It is just text. You want to figure out what prize works better? You could test it here. <laughs> Uh, Steve from Thailand says, I thought the green flash was because I'm uh, being a display hog. You are on my big screen TV, and I have a laptop display and external device all running at once from a 2017 13-inch laptop. No, it's me, apparently. It's my video card or something. Anyway, uh, that's enough about sweepstakes advantage. It's just, I use it for real campaigns that I have gotten used clients uh, like Fujifilm and some of the bigger clients I've worked with. We have run campaigns here. You pay them $100 and they will guarantee you 600 clicks. Usually it goes up to seven or 800. We, and I, all right, let's move on. <laughs> uh, so, one of the other gentlemen, and this, I don't have this full screen, but I hope you can see this. I spoke uh, several years ago with a gentleman by the name of Brian Austin. If you are a programming person, 
you might be able to pull this off. Notice his opt-in page. Oops, I forgot. Uh, his opt-in page is here. And he wrote some code that passed along. You remember I was talking about the referral link? He wrote some code that dragged that referral ID from landing page to survey page uh, over here to the opt-in page. And he put his up viral opt-in here and then had a sharing page. So we had the two-page process, but he brought through code the referral ID through multiple pages before he got to the up viral sign up. And yes, he tested it. But he wrote code to make that happen. Got to write some code, and then you got to test it in order to make that happen. So he created a four-page funnel, five-page funnel, but he had to understood that he had to drag that referral ID all the way till he got to the up viral sign up page. So it can be done. But you have to know some coding skills and or hire somebody that has some coding skills in order to make it happen. But he also realized that his up viral sign up and his sharing page had to be together. All right. How are you guys doing? You with me? Anybody out there? <laughs> um, the reason I'm hesitating is I wanted to show you, Claudia says, still here. Jerome says, thank you. Yes. All right. Martin says, I don't do code. Yes. Um, thank you. Thank you for the feedback. Uh, let's see. Can I get to... If you, let's see if I can log in here. And I know you guys can't see my screen. I paused you. Because I didn't want you to see all my internal stuff here. I have been experimenting with something. Speaking of coding... And this is what I'm going to show you. If it loads. Why is it not loading? There it comes. I have run a campaign for a client. <laughs> um, Dira. Thank you for being here, Dira, new first-time watcher. I want to know if I can get my builder all in my sweepstakes for advertising. I don't know. Um, I have not worked with any clients that had builder all. I have looked at it before, and if you can include like HTML code, you could theoretically include the up viral widget. We would have to do some playing around with that to see. Um, so this is something that I built <laughs> for a client. And it actually works. Sort of, and, and, I, and I hesitate because, again, I, I did software development for 32 years, but I don't know JavaScript that well. I managed to, to do something in this funnel where the person opts in on the opt-in page and up I roll takes them to the dashboard. But I figured out a trick. In up I roll, you can add a script. And in that script, I, I do a little check to see if it came from the first time in if 
the first time in, then I send them over to the Buy page, which was a Thrivecart page. And Thrivecart, when they did the purchase, sends them back to the dashboard or to the sharing page. So I have made this happen. I mention it purely because I've done it. I've done it multiple times. There is a slight delay when this actually happens, and I and I wanted to hire somebody to fix it, but I never did. Where when they go f when they opt in and they land on the share page, the page actually shows for a brief second and then they get redirected to the Thrivecart page. That Thrivecart page, then they purchase, and then that sends them back to the UpViral Share page, and it does it because of the one-click sign-up. Inside of Thrivecart, we build the one-click sign-up and send them back over here to the dashboard. So there's a lot of moving pieces, and I hesitate to show it to you because this is a really complicated example but we managed to make it work it was a little clunky but we did make it work in this case we were running a challenge and in order to get into the challenge it uh they had to purchase to be in the challenge so that's why we were doing that. Crazy stuff. But we made it work. But that was also because I totally understood the two-page process. Because a viral is going to force from the lead page over to the dashboard, or over to the up viral sharing page, every time. Now, if you really want to get funky... You could tell a viral that this is the... Oh, I got one more example I want to show you. That this is the sharing page on Thrivecart. But there are cookies and stuff that you have to worry about, which is why we did it the way we did it. Because if you don't have the cookies set, then a viral tries to send people back to the opt-in page. So there's, there's all kinds of issues that you have to do there. Okay, you guys still with me here. Uh, all right, let's see. Where is my one other page that I want to show you? Survey thank you page. Well, it must be over in Keynote. Uh, let's see. Ah, here it is. If, have you guys heard of the product launch formula with uh, Jeff Walker? Jeff Walker teaches PLF, Product Launch Formula, as a way, Bob says, yes, I've heard of PLF. He teaches it as a way of giving people value. So what happens is that you have an opt-in page, pretend this is not the up viral thing, but people would go to what they what he calls a value video. So they opt in on day one. On day two, he sends them, hey, here's the video. Please come over here and watch the video. Then on day three, two, three, he sends them to value video two. On day four, he goes to value video three. And then after that period of time, you go to the order page where you buy his new product, right? Scott says, PLF is great stuff. Thank you. I know. Jeff Walker's made a fortune selling product launch formula. And this is something I actually got from Wilco. Will, this is Wilco's idea. This is not mine. Sneezies. Oh, see, I blew it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I know it is an hour. Thank you for sticking with me. We will roll over a little bit longer. Uh, if you want, you can always watch the replay. The replays are available on Facebook and YouTube and inside of UpViral. But Wilco showed us this multiple times when he's talked about it, where you could use UpViral 
And if, say for example, people earn enough points or refer enough people through the viral loop, and we're going to talk about that in just a second, then you give them a bonus. Maybe it's another video that nobody else gets. It's not video two or one or three, but it's four. And therefore, this is something really special if you set it up right, and people will work their tail off to get that bonus because they want to learn, right? It's a freebie. But in order to do that, they have to refer some people and earn some points. So here's the flow for that, where they register, and this would be an up-viral hosted page or a widget on, say, ClickFunnels or WordPress. I've done this in WordPress. And then you just simply have video one page, video two page, video three page, and you put the up-viral widget below the video and the cookies will take care of people's points. Now, again, the assumption with the widget is that people have logged in or they are on the same machine with the widget and the cookies and all that kind of stuff. But you can absolutely put the widget on multiple pages. So you can have the sharing widget on video one, video two, video three. You guys, are you guys following along here? The widget can change the game a bit for you if you, again, understand how the widget works. Now, you could put, for example, on the uh, opt-in page, the registration page, you could just make that be the up viral form. There is in the sharing... There is a, uh, I'm sorry, in the Promote tab, there is a way of just doing the form. That way the widget isn't necessarily on the opt-in page. But UpViral is driving this process. Now, there are multiple things you potentially have to worry about here. <laughs> um... The, the struggle that you may run into is the fact that UpViral does sort of insist that this second page be one of these three pages. You could have a little script on, on video one page that says, hey, this is day three, send them over to this one. You could have all of these on one page instead of having three pages. Assuming somebody registers on day three or whatever. If they're, if, you know, if they're coming into the process after you've already started launching these pages. So you do have to make sure you know what the heck you're doing. Michael, you are absolutely welcome. Um, uh, the rest of this will be on the replays if you if you need to pop in and watch the replays. Key says the Upviral help page also seems to be useful on the subject of widgets. Yes, and that's important for Upviral because the widget is often used, especially in something like this. These are not up viral hosted pages. These have to be widgets on another tool, another page builder. You don't have any choice on this one. You can't build multiple pages inside of up viral for these sharing pages. I found this on the web. <laughs> My watch just said, I found this on the web. Uh, da, 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 da. would it help to share the link? You mean the help page? You guys, you can share the link if you want. I don't have it. <laughs> I don't have it in front of me. I could go find it, but sure. All right. So for those of you who are watching on um, the the Zoom link, you uh, Keith just shared the link for you. 
I will click it and oh, click it twice. So if you go uh, search in here for the widget, so it's support.upviral.com is the simple way to get to it. And this is a very long conversation about embedding the widget. And they have updated this for the new sharing settings. I, at this point, I am not going to go through all of this. We had a separate complete show, by the way, on the new multi... Uh, what, do we, what do they call it? The multi-use... <laughs> Uh, campaigns where you can not only have it a widget, but you can host have hosted pages simultaneously in the same campaign. That could help you a whole bunch if you wanted to try to create some kind of weird multi-page funnel. I'll say this yet again. These are advanced features. These are advanced campaigns. I do not expect you basic people people that are just getting started with UpViral to try any of this because it is incredibly complicated. You trying to put something like this together and testing it is critical. Test, 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 test. Please, test. Unless you want to pay me a lot of money to come in after the campaign started, to try to fix something for you. My family would appreciate it. I have been called in multiple times where people have not tested their campaign and suddenly they say, oh, the points aren't working the way I thought they would. It's because you didn't listen to me at the beginning and test your campaign. Test, 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 test every aspect of your campaign before you launch it. Make a diagram like this if you have to. To make sure that you have all of these pieces working the way you think it's going to work. Because God forbid you do a multi-thousand dollar ad campaign and then the, the process doesn't work and, and it fails and you look really foolish. The tech here is important. Bob Anderson's question. So UpViral would look for an actual second page in the PLF sequence. Just widgets would not work. It does kind of... <laughs> it does... Again, Bob, I'm going a little farther than I potentially want to. Um, but let's suppose you're doing this PLF. And you know, because you're very intimate with UpViral, and on day, day one, previous day one, whatever, you tell UpViral that you're taking people, your sharing page inside of UpViral is this one, Value Video 1. On the second day, you could go into UpViral. And again, you would have to test this to prove Mitch right. You could say to UpViral, by the way, my second page is Value Video 2. You would manually have to change that in your UpViral campaign on day two. You could, on day three, tell UpViral your second page is Value Video 3. It doesn't know any better. It doesn't know you had two other videos. People who are suddenly potentially opting in are going to say, well, how do I get to those? And you will have to handle on video page three how to get to video two and video one. But for somebody that just registers on day three, you could trick up viral into going to each one of these pages at the appropriate time. <sighs> trick it. You've got to understand how a viral works in order to make something like this work the way you want it to work. 
You could also just send everybody to value video one and make them walk through the process because they're brand new, right? With these email sequences, you are sending people to the right page and the widget will show them their data on that page, but you are doing that with the proper email links in your emails. And again, Bob, what do you have to do to make this work? What's the one word? Starts with the letter T. Yes, Bob, got it. You got to test. You got to test every piece of this before you launch it. This is an advanced feature. I do not expect anybody to do this on day one. Now, I know uh, my new friend, Deira, said, I've been in UpViral for a couple of months and I haven't made any campaigns. How can I start? Go watch episode number 62 of UpViral's co-pilot show. There must, did I make a new one of them? <laughs> So how do you start? I'll say the same thing I told uh, whoever it was before. Julie. Take an up viral campaign. Make a very simple one. Go into up viral. I'll even show you. Go into up viral. Go to the dashboard. I have to move a window out of the way to make this happen. Go create a new campaign. Take one of these campaigns that says easy. Come in here, you can do a preview and you can see what the campaign looks like. You could make this win a $25 Amazon gift card. Enter to win. You could change this however you want. You could put an Amazon gift card here. You could change this that says, hey, now that you are got a chance to win, congratulations. Here's how you do it. Change this, blah, 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 blah. Make these changes and test it. Put it out there for real. See how it works. See how people share it. See where they share it. Track all of this stuff. You don't like that one? Come look at this one. Grow your social media. Look at this one. Do a preview. This is a book club thing. Test it out. Add it to your camp. Add it to your account. Test it. Have people sign in. Do all you can do with the very simple, basic campaigns. Learn how Up Viral works. Jim's question: How can I test without going to register test data as contacts? You can do that. Hey, Jim, do you have a Gmail account? Gmail. If you don't have a Gmail account, get one. They're free. Here's a trick. Jim, do you have a Gmail account? Tell me, yes or no. I'm going to go back to my dashboard. Uh, so I'm just going to go this campaign. Um, I thought I had a custom domain on this, but I don't. This is, this is a, <laughs> a webinar. Obviously, I didn't run it on April 14th. But yes, you can use UpViral to run webinars. Okay, put your name. So put in Jim, I don't know what your Gmail is at gmail.com here's the special little trick if you're doing test data and there's nothing wrong with doing test data to test but if you have a gmail account you can do notice i just put my cursor between jim and the at sign if you put a plus test whatever text you put in here test one test two test three all of those go to your primary Gmail account. You could filter them. You could delete them. You could do all kinds of stuff. But if you have one Gmail account, 
you can test thousands of new people in UpViral. And you can see the emails come to you. So you don't have to worry about them going out to somebody or having an invalid email address or any of that other stuff. Put in your Gmail account between your first part and the at sign. Put plus and then some characters. And you can add as many people and test with as many people. And the emails all show up in your Gmail account. You could go delete them and do whatever you want. But yes, you definitely want to test this, right? Because, and I've, I have done, go back to watch, find the test show where I talk about testing. You must test whether or not the referral points get added. So here's, here's one of the things that I often do. I will start with, I will do Jim plus grandfather. And I will register. I'm going to go ahead and do it. And please fill out this field. I did fill it out. <laughs> what the hell was that? Planet Mitch at Gmail plus grandfather. Something is going on. All right. It's working on it. So now... I'm going to come in here and I'm going to grab this referral link. Okay, this is the simple kind of stuff that I do as a test. I'm going to go to an incognito window. I have a special thing that I'm opening that is a special app that's a browser that is an incognito window, and I'm going to paste that in. <laughs> what do you mean the requested URL is invalid? See, this is what happens when you do live stuff. Is, is that viral suddenly broken? Did I break it? Here's my up viral. Up viral. UPV. I copied that, right? I did copy. Came over to my incognito window. And I pasted it. Oh, I bet I know. Let's go back to my campaign. Is this camp? It says it's active. It says it's live. All right, well, <laughs> so imagine this was the referral link. I don't know what's going on there, but imagine that's the referral link. So I'm going to type in my, my name here, and I'm going to put father, and I'm going to put uh, play, PMG, that's my shortcut, and I'm going to put plus father, and I'm going to do this, right? Something is going on there. All right. So now if I come back to my up viral and I go to the leads here, I now see that I have Planet Mitch at grandfather and I see Planet Mitch at father. Now, if I had done the referral link, if the referral link had worked right, I would see that the grandfather had points plus the referral points, right? So I would test this process and make sure that that person got the proper points. I would then take this one and I would go in and I would put Planet Mitch plus Sun. So I can visually see when I do this that which person referred the other person. I do it that way so that I can see the hierarchy. Okay, this is one of Mitch's little tips. But I'm doing it all with Gmail. Doesn't cost me anything. It's free. I can, I can see which ones referred the other, so I can check the points. You do have to be careful that you may end up in fraud detection. There's all kinds of things you need to worry about with that. But you can do the testing with Gmail. See everything working. Have unlimited number of test emails. 
and not fret or panic over it, right? Jim, you make sense? You with me now? Does that work? Does that answer your question? Did I miss something in there? I still don't know why that other thing didn't work, but Jim says yes. All right. So, I mean, that's, there's a million different conversations that possibly could come into play if we were diving into trying multiple different pages in different scenarios. But you've seen green flashing going on today. Uh, you have seen that there are ways of doing multiple pages, but the key to that is to recognize that UpViral is a two-page process and to put it somewhere in your process. Either, best way to do it is at the front and then drag all your extra pages at the end like Gabe Schillinger does. You can do the product launch formula. You can do webinar registrations. You can do lead magnets. You can do all kinds of stuff. Martin says, great tip about the Gmail accounts. If you go watch the testing uh, co-pilot show, I talked in great detail about that. But it is it's a simple way to do it. And most people are not aware of that simple little plus that comes in between their name or whatever and the at sign. It is very beneficial to doing stuff. Now, a lot of people use that, by the way, as a tip to say, oh, well, let's say I'm going to register for Netflix and I want to see if Netflix is going to sell my ad email address to other people. If I did Planet Mitch plus Netflix at gmail.com, I would be able to see if I suddenly start getting spam from some Viagra company or whatever, I would see that Netflix sold my email. It is a great way of making that happen. Can I integrate with a mail verification app to avoid fake email? Great question, Jim. <laughs> I know some stuff. My mastermind members know all this stuff too, by the way. Now, there are there is an email verification built into UpViral. If you go over to I always have to move the chat out of the way. If you go to dashboard settings. That just reminds me, I need to make another chart about this. And I go to integrations and you go to other, there is this thing called email list verify. And oh crap, I'm showing my, <laughs> oops, there's my key. Oh, oh, well good, I'm not sure. <laughs> my screen. <laughs> ah, thank you. All right, so I, what, you see my screen now. Sorry, thank you for that. <laughs> so I had my email list verified because I do have an email list verify account. I have not used it in forever. Uh, Jim says email list verify support. Uh, support told me is not working. I have another option. <sighs> Uh, so that is in under settings, integrations, other. And I am not going to do save because I don't want to go look at my key again. The key to that <laughs> is, let me see if I can go to my diagrams. That verification does not happen until here. They already become a lead in your database and the autoresponder, it will be sent to your autoresponder. And that's one of the reasons why I quit using it. I want the opt-in to be on the opt-in page live. Now, if you were watching, if I go back to the beginning of this, I don't know, it'll probably redirect me, right? Let's see if I still have that. Oh, crap. <laughs> if you noticed it, when I typed in my email address here, 
and I hit tab or tab out of that, you see this little thing that comes over here? I'm using a tool called debounce. This is a verification on the front end. And I have tutorials on how to make that happen. And of course, an affiliate ID, if you decide you want to do that, uh, you could go figure out how to do it on your own if you want. But that is, there are some potential issues. Jim says, I have another option. If you have another option, the key to this debounce, and there are other tools like that, the key is, I like that word key, apparently. The key is that it happens here on the front end. If I enter an invalid email address and I hit the tab key, it's going to give me an X that says that's not a valid email address. Or if, if, there's, if they enter an email address that is trash or been abused, they will not be able to register. Uh, Keith, you're going to have to come talk to me because I can't share that with you right now right here. Go to contactmitch.com. That's how you find me. Um, but that's, that's the only tool I have tested, and it works 90% of the time. I, let me rephrase that. 98% of the time. I have, <laughs> I have run into a couple of times where it didn't work, and somebody said, but it's a valid email address. <laughs> Does that work, Yuli? I'll check that later. All right. So, uh, who was that? Jim? Was that Jim that asked that question? Can I integrate with email verification? Yes. Oh, crap. <laughs> Any other questions? Anybody got any other questions? Well, look at that. All right. <laughs> that is the process. If you want to start trying to do multiple pages, I think I've laid out just about everything we could possibly talk about. Uh, Lauren said, do you have any tutorials? Yes, I have a tutorial on debounce, but it is not an op viral thing, and they don't really want me trying to sell any of my stuff on here because that's not the right thing to do. So you got to contact me. Uh, how does it work? Fraud detection. It cannot avoid fake emails. No, fraud detection does not currently work. I think I think it does. It used to. I see it's been so long since I've tried to do that email list to verify. I don't remember exactly how it works. Um, it, they they probably did show up on fraud detection. Shashir, thank you for being here. Come back next week. We are going to be doing some fun stuff next week. I have talked, Jim, to the UpViral team about enhancing the fraud detection, but they've got lots of things on their plate. So it has not been improved recently. All right. Anybody else have any questions? Type in a Q really fast if you do. And I will pause. Otherwise, we are going to wrap this up. Thank you for attending the Upviral Co-Pilot Show. Please, if you know somebody that's in a business, a small business, a big business, somebody that wants to go crazy with the way they grow their list, and again, your list needs to be your number one asset in your business. 40% or 40 times more sales come from emails than social media, all those other tools combined. Email still is number one. Build your list, always. Use UpViral to build your list for lead magnets, webinars, product launch formulas, all the stuff that I've just shown you today. UpViral should be your number one tool to make that happen. It should be your replacement for ClickFunnels. You don't need ClickFunnels. Bob Anderson, thanks, Mitch. You should ask for an M1 on your birthday. 
I'm just gonna buy one myself. Keith says, have a great birthday, Mitch, and get that new computer. You know you want to. Yes, I do. <laughs> uh, good to meet you. Good. Happy birthday, Martin. Glad to see and hear you are well. I, I feel very happy about that, too. Diana said, had an enjoyable more birthday. How can I skip the opt-in form and send leads directly to the share page? Uh, there, I, I don't remember if we did a specific show. Um, Jim, if, if, uh, the, the, I'm not going to try to go into it right now. This thing that's called one-click sign-up. You can go look at it in the support documents. Um, I am going to, like, really quickly show you that inside any campaign, if you go to the publish tab up here, every campaign has a publish tab. There is the one-click sign-up link. Go poke around and learn that. That is how, that is the answer to your skip the opt-in form and send leads directly to the share page. Uh, Yuli, you are welcome. Jerome, thank you. you. See you next time. You are welcome, of course. William, very good teacher techniques. Thank you very much. May birthdays are great, Humphrey says. Hi, Humphrey. Mine is May 7th. Good luck, Humphrey. That'll be the day before the next show, I think. I don't know, my math. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, does Debounce have a lifetime deal? Not to my knowledge. Debounce is a pay by tens of thousands. It's really cheap per verification. It's not expensive at all. All right, let's wrap this up. Thank you for being here. We will catch you again next week on the Upviral Copilot Show. Turn off that. I, I really enjoy being here. I really enjoy helping you guys grow your businesses. Uh, next week, I believe, is a review show. So if you have a campaign that you're working on, send it to uh, me or send it to Upviral. There's a form that you can fill out. I'm pretty sure that's true. Uh, we will review that. The following week is William is going to do an interview, and then I believe it's a Q&A show the last week of the month. Invite your friends who are running a business because they need to be using Up Viral. Thanks for tuning in, and we will catch you again next time. Same bat time, same bat channel on the Up Viral Copilot Show.